Hi everybody, today we're going to be making three different comfort foods from all over the world. The first one we're going to have a slow cooker, beef and potato curry. The second we're going to have an Italian chicken list, chicken noodle soup, and my favorite Midwestern deep dish baked beans. And in the theme of all things comfort, I've got on my big warm sweater and my sidekick, the Cool Lime Refresher, fancy with light ice. I'm not really sure what I would do without it. You are basic, I can tell. You love Starbucks, always on your cell. Okay, so let's get started. The second dish I'm going to be showing you guys in the comfort food series, if you will, is going to be an Italian chicken list chicken noodle soup. And chicken list does not mean that it's vegetarian. We're just not using chicken meat, but we are using a chicken stock. You can use a vegetable one as well. I'm sure it will turn out just as great, but wanted to do that little forewarning. So what do we have happening here? So it's a really simple recipe. We have a bag of peas. You can use frozen or fresh. Half of a white onion. Mini noodles. Garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper, of course. And then we have celery and carrots. So let me give you a little background on this. This recipe calls for one carrot and one stalk of celery. And back to the whole me scared of wasting food thing. So I know I won't go through a whole pack of celery or a whole thing of carrots within a week or two. So for me, it's just easier to go to the salad bar and I get a couple carrots and celery. So enough that your recipe calls for. So let's go ahead and start chopping these up here. You just want them in small bite-sized pieces. We'll just throw everything right into our big soup pot. And I always find it easier to have it at your prep station versus having it here and you're going back there and you're so confused and you're going to drop something and then it's a mess and then you're going to cry. It just makes things a lot easier. So celery pieces will break down a little more since they are in larger chunks. And this is a really easy dish to make. Like, a, it probably takes around, in total cooking time, 20 minutes. And then soup's one of those things is if you let it sit in the refrigerator for another day or two, when you go back to visit it, it's going to be even better than the day you cooked it. So I'm just going to continue chopping up the vegetables here. Everything is chopped, and we're just going to finish putting it into our soup bowl here. And one tip that I can tell you guys, and the reason why mascara is not flowing down my face, is that when I know an onion is needed in a recipe, I usually put it in the refrigerator beforehand. That way that the juices somewhat freeze up, and when you're cutting it, they're not coming at you so harshly. So remember that when you're cooking, it makes chopping onions a lot easier. Everybody in. Then we're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there. Top it with some salt and pepper. Give it a little top. Make sure everybody's coated. And then we're going to have it cook on the stove until the onions are translucent and the carrot and celery loses its bite. So probably about five to ten minutes. We'll meet back at the oven. As you can hear, the onions, carrots, and celery are simmering away. So they are perfect right now. They're soft, the onions are translucent. Ready for the next step of the process. Oh, while they were cooking, I also added just a little bit of garlic to it. The recipe doesn't call for garlic, but it's always good to throw it in there. We're gonna be adding one cup of water. Silences everything. A container of chicken stock or chicken broth. And the recipe does call for fresh thyme. And Since I didn't have any in my house, I only had dry thyme. What I, what I actually do is heat up water 
and then I just steep the dry thyme in there and it just gives the flavor to the water without you having to go out and buy a couple springs of thyme. So if you are making it with fresh thyme, I'd say about three to four springs and if not, just a little bit of your thyme water because it's still going to give it the flavor that you're looking for. It smells so good. Give that a mix. And one thing I changed about this recipe too is that it did call for cheese and I removed the cheese from it just to avoid any lactose aller allergies that could be present with my friends or partner. I just try to reduce dairy as much as I can in recipes just to be safe with all the allergies. As this has been simmering away for about 5 to 10 minutes, I did add salt and pepper and just a pitch of chili flake just to give it that little extra heat that I enjoy. Now we're going to add the noodles. I have about a cup of the small grain noodles I was showing you earlier. We're just going to dump all of those right into the pot. Mix them around to make sure they don't stick to the bottom. And then we'll just watch it for about 5 to 10 minutes just to make sure that the noodles cook. So the soup is complete, and I've ladled myself a little into this mason jar. So if you remember, this jar was holding the noodles before the recipe started, and now it's holding the end product. And that's the thing I love about mason jars, is that they're so versatile. You can use them for displays, which I have behind me. I actually have a candle going in a mason jar. You can use it to hold items. So before this recipe started, it was used as my noodle holder, and now it's used as my soup holder. I really like it because you get to see everything that's happening in here too. You get to see your noodles, your broth, the peas, carrots, celery, and then the pepper flakes that are floating around there as well. And these are really easy for transportation too. You just top them off and you're good to go. And since I like my soup a little bit more spicy than when I made it, I'm going to add a little hot sauce. And there is the chickenless chicken noodle soup. Enjoy! Chicken noodle soup, with a soda on the side. Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, with a soda on the side.